Hello, welcome to Atari 37. Today I'm reviewing this, which is the Pop Star Wars um, Stormtrooper and Dewback uh, two pack Walmart exclusive. So, um, yeah, I got this a while back. And um, again, if you've seen my Iron Man video, uh, I never really got around to making a video on this one um, for reasons I really don't know why. But uh, again, I want to review all of my pop collection. So, um, yeah, as you can see, it's really cool. It's got some white and yellow going on, or not white and yellow, but white and blue, but it reminds me a lot of Walmart, even though this is just a style of the packaging. Um, it's a Walmart exclusive, as you can see, but um, just a style of it reminds me of Walmart colors. So, um, yeah, we have two pack, we have pop, we have Star Wars, then we have the characters on bottom. We have a nice, very nice, cool, uh, clear view of the figures. You can see them on the sides and on the sides at the top as well. On the back, we have the other figures available. And on the bottom, we just have, like, uh, legal information. So, um, yeah, let's get into the video. So, um, starting off with the um, Stormtrooper, I think they've done a very awesome job at this. He is a bobblehead, and um, I really like the eyes, because, you know, like, normally Funko eyes are, like, kind of like that. But I really like that they made them more, like, Storm. Trooper Funko eyes, I really like it. I like the design of it, and I like the helmet as well, like the black and the gold bits, or not the gold bits, sorry, uh, the blue bits. I, I do like the shoulder pad here, which is orange. Uh, I think it looks really cool, and I really do like the look of the Stormtrooper, but one of my favorite parts is if you notice at the top, it might be a little hard to see on my camera, but there's kind of like a dirt effect on him, and I believe this is supposed to be like a desert Stormtrooper, and I really like that, and there's just like dirt all around him, and I think that's really awesome. So, you know, I'm really glad that they did that, and it's really cool. It might not come up on my camera, but um, it's really, really awesome. And he also has this staff, um, you know, I, it's been a long time since I've really watched some of the original Star Wars movies, so I'm not really sure about this thingy here, so I'm very sorry about that, but, um, yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen some of the Star Wars movies. The most recent one I watched was The Force Awakens, and I actually really love that, but besides that, I don't think I've seen one in, like, maybe three years and uh, that's something I definitely need to do this year, like rewatch the movies. But yeah, I think this is really cool. And then on the back, you can see really awesome, really nicely detailed as well. Um, this, however, is my favorite part. I absolutely love the do back. It's really cool. I love the reptilian like scales going around this thing. I think it's awesome. And I love the big giant pop eyes. They just look so great. And he's kind of got like a little smile, kind of strange smile, really neat. Um, I like this. I like how it's kind of attached to it, but separate as well. It's interesting, and um, as you can see, it kind of like has bands on the sides. It's really cool. And um, yeah, it's really, really neat, and I like the claws and stuff. I also like the hair on top of it. And um, yeah, so the only problem I actually really have with this set is getting the character on top of this. Just... It doesn't, I mean, you know, there's no pegs, so you kind of just, like, have to sit it here and hope it works. That's basically how this thing works. And then um, I'm going to hit pause really quickly. You can kind of see it a bit better. I'm trying to slide my camera back. So, um, yeah, but, you know, I don't think that just having it stand there is really good. Um, the Wonder Woman Invisible Jet I reviewed a while back had pegs, and you could peg her into it, and that was great, because, you know, like, you could just, like, display it any way you want to, and didn't have to worry about the figure falling off, but this, I mean, you know, like, it's not horrible, but there's literally nothing holding this figure, it's just balance, so... You know, I would have preferred there to have been pegs on it, and again, that's my only complaint. Besides that, I really don't mind this set so much. I think it's if you're a fan of Star Wars or the Star Wars Funko Pop line, I think you're definitely going to love it. And, um, you know, uh, Walmart, the Walmart I got this at, had it on clearance. I cannot remember for how much, but um, it was a pretty good deal. So, you know, um, maybe, like, if you can find out one of your Walmarts, and, um, yeah, I think it's awesome. So, thank you for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.